Hey, you're welcome back to another episode of the service of the month. This is for the month of August. Man, we've been doing this for eight months. Actually, coming up to nine now because we started doing this in December. So yeah, uh, this is crazy. But a uh, big shout out to you guys for supporting us so far and uh, keeping this show going. We really do appreciate it. My name is Mukutzeim Lambo, and it's time to count down this top ten. Fire MC verses from the month of August in Zimbabwe hip hop. Do remember to leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, do all those nice things. Uh, share it with your friends, share it with your grandma, share it with your ex because we want to keep the movement going. We want to reach 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So, you know, uh, I'm excited. With that being said, let's count them down. Coming through at number 10, it is Kunda or. Uh, K U N D A, and uh, this tune is called the One. Life is a beast. I've been drowning in the water. Corona came and hit us hard like the La Jolla. People out here losing jobs. Who can employ us? Yo, man, I just want to say the producers this year are working overtime, man, and I really do love this beat. Um, you know, it's it's it it is soul. It it feels like something that. Jay-Z or maybe Kanye would be on now. I, I know that might sound like I'm overreaching, but truly, truly, this this beat is spectacular. You go check out that tune. But I want to talk about this first verse from um, Kunda. And, uh, you know, he comes out, he comes out guns blazing, man. Comes out guns blazing. I really wish uh, that his flow was a little bit more complex uh, than it was, you know, because there is a lot of risk of monotony uh, throughout this throughout this verse. And yeah, I just, I don't know, man, but the beat, the beat definitely does help. Um, and I, I'm not sure if it was intentional, but there's a really strong old school feel about this verse because the the bars are very coming up, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, like, like back in the day, like these are the breaks. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean that I mean that sincerely, um, you know. But he, he throws in some 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 neat some neat bars there, you know. Corona came and hit us hard with De La Hoya, uh, and he also goes on to say, and he came through each time with the saves like Manuel Noya. Those are two sports bars, so we gotta add that to the list. Or is it here? Yeah, two sports bars. It's been a while since I've heard sports bars on on raps. So <laughs> shout out shout out to Kunda uh, on this one. I definitely did like it. Um, and you know the, the chorus as well. If you listen to the chorus of this tune, it really gives that '90s old school feel. So you know, shout out, shout out to him, man, uh, for coming through. We we love these uh, unknown guys coming through strong as well, and that's what we, that's what we do here. As I said. To come and hold us, and he came through with the same these times like my Noya. Mentally stuck, I broke my own cage. Jeans tend to dive, they live in. Right now, moving on to our number nine, it is a Surge M1. Uh, on the tune problems. Yo, another another crazy beat uh, coming through here. And listen, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking we might even have to do like a, a beat of the month, <laughs> but but nah, not really. <laughs> but but this beat is crazy, man. The producers are working overtime, and shout out to everybody. Uh, who played a part? I forgot who produced the song. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Totally forgot. But shout out to shout out to the producer. Um, you know, we might put a name. We might put a name because I'd say you, you don't acknowledge us. But now nah, producers working over time, and this beat was absolutely uh, amazing, man. I loved it. I, I, I like this guy's voice. Uh, it reminds me of of technique. You know, uh, technique. Same hip hop legend. Um, he's doing gospel rap now, but great 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 stuff um listen the pen is not too bad um there are definitely some things that can be improved i, I think sometimes when rappers have try to be lyrical they they risk uh, they risk coming off as like you're trying too much to sound clever but i i i i wish he could find a way like to make multi you know uh non-generic non-generic non generic patterns you know um so yeah like if if he makes his bars like multi-syllable and, and and the structures are not put like in a non-generic way i really feel like we could have something uh with this guy the cadence could have been better as well uh but overall um i i love it i love i love him putting himself out there as well and it's a it's a 
it's a track that comes off very serious uh, in a way that is called problems and the subject matter as well this guy is trying to stamp his authority so uh shout out to say gem one it's a cool name by the way love it killing the game and distributing our fame Moving on to our number eight, it's Intclon. Ah man, is that it? Is that how I pronounce it? It's Intclon or No Fakes. Step on the scene while I do my dance, while I lift my hands, then I go up. Hey, miss me with the hate, leave out of the cage. You were. But I'm just gonna say it. Uh, this is a good song. That's it. It's a. I like it as a song. I also like the raps as well, but I mostly like it as a song. But also, it's not for me. It might contradict myself, maybe. But I felt like it was a song for the kids. And, you know, by the kids, not like children, but like, I'm a 2000. Good, that demographic, that's that's how I felt um, about, about this tune overall. And it was a bit hard to hear what he was talking about, you know, his flow is definitely unique, uh, so I'll, I'll give him that. Um, kind of like, kind of like Blackie, uh, Blackie from SA. Um, it's, it's unique in that sense, uh, but it's without the lyrics on screen. I swear you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get more much here. Um, it's not really lyrically dense, uh, but you know, it, it he makes it up with making his flow unpredictable, like the unpredictable flow patterns and rhyme patterns and I, I like that um, I like that because when you when you come off with a voice that's unique and something that may be hard to listen to for the old heads or whatever um, it helps when you come with a flow that's a little bit bouncy and, and unique the only corn as well is that uh, it's too short but other than that uh, it is still go check out his whole catalog I think you'll find some good shoes for you there uh, it's int clone I think that's it no fakes coming through at number eight. Much weight, you want all the cake for all those right there. Walking through the rain, pushing through the pain. We are not the same. Things are just not. All right, moving on to our number seven. And this one is interesting. It's Orthodox Six on uh, Shot Five. We got from a different cloth. My shorty thicker than chicken broth. Call me Oath with blows deadlier than the COVID cough. Rappers. All right. Um. Is the thing i love otho uh, i love otho big shout out to otho legend in the game uh dope clothing line as well you know he's doing great for himself i'm just not sure if this is the return that i expected you know what i mean like i like you you, you see and you listen to some guys and you think it's gonna be so much more that they they're gonna offer i did not think that a, an intercity diss track is what the game needs right now especially when we're pushing a lot of um unity and i don't i don't understand i don't understand the song i don't understand why things that were said in this song were said like i i don't get what was the what's the point like it's 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 very grimy it's very intense which is which is dope um and it was a song that was clearly made to to grab attention now if that happened I'm not sure if it worked out, but I just expected so much deeper subject matter from a celebrated lyricist from the City of Kings. You know, like, uh, I don't know, man. I, I I don't know how to feel about this one. Like, there were some shorts that I didn't understand why they were put up there. Like, shorts to Munezi. Well, more like a callback, but shorts to Holy Ten, shorts to Plot Marco. I don't know. I don't know where this is going, man. Um, I don't know. I just, I just think sometimes we are way past uh, diss tracks, and I really hoped that this was gonna be a better, a better, stronger return, you know. But Orthodox Six coming through at our number seven. Fingers, big preachers, Bulawa, you got the best divas. I expose niggas, the gender queen, tart delicious. You claim coming through at number six, it's a Vince Doctor with my bars, chit chit. Hey, yo, 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 shout out to Vince Doctor. Actually, this tune I think came out. Uh, last year on the ghetto arc sessions but they didn't resurface re it was re-uploaded and someone tagged this 
Um, so it was within the month. So like, you know what? Cool. Let me. We're gonna. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do. It. We're gonna talk about it. And man, this beat is crazy. I feel like I'm gonna be talking about instrumentals, man, because yo, this beat is a dope. I mean, shout out to the uh, producers in Zim Hip Hop, man. Uh, this dudes has, have been have been working, have been working over time. Um, the flow here is is very simple, um, which is not a bad thing. Straight to the point, uh, but very captivating as well. Um, there are a lot of similes um, in this one. There's a lot of like konge, like konge, like. So if you don't if you don't like that, that may not be for you. But if you are like someone who listened to the, what's that song by Nas, where, where there's a lot of similes um, you know, throughout, is it Nas is like yes, Nas is like you know a lot of similes on the third verse, if I'm not mistaken. So this this could be for you, man. But um, the bars are not too crazy um, as well. But it's easy to consume. Like you totally forgot that um, it's almost four minutes long but he really goes consistently, he has authority, he has swagger. I love everything about it. Um, he even throws in a sports bar, hands anti peri peri, not defender, kunge John Terry. Gotta put the counter. <laughs> it's another sports bar. Hey man, it's like sports bar all over. <laughs> but, but I like that man, Vince Doctor coming through with my bars, chitty chit. <laughs> And then moving on to our number five. Yo, this was almost a late entry because we totally almost forgot about this one. But yo, I'm super excited. It's Tuck Money on my highlights. So let me quote Breezy. It has been a long time. Um, I've often say so maybe this might be biased but i've often said that tuck money is one of the most unique um one of the most unique rappers one of the most authentic rappers that we have uh in zimbabwean hip-hop and if you haven't checked the episode that we did on him just check it out somewhere up there just check it out um it's it's great he is he's he's amazing he really is amazing for what he does what he talks about his subject matter everything is it's just dope like he's so laid back there's no pressure and on this one it doesn't disappoint as well i mean the ad-libs on this tune man <laughs> the ad-libs on this joint like this dude starts off by saying you know i'm gonna start rapping in ad-libs now so basically he's saying holy ten has copied my flow or like maybe using that deep voice because you know you you know you know the ogs you know the ogs so hey man this guy is just addressing things that we were all thinking uh, maybe you weren't but i certainly was and the flow is crazy man i'm also glad that he rapped more um on this tune uh, like it's only it's, it's one verse so he really went in and and i love it again i say man the ad libs ad libs of the month man like one of my favorites um always says uh, if it's war that you want that you know what like and in, in the background the guy or him his hype man ad lib is also doing the same ad lib like it's hilariously good man and i just love that artistry i love when people step out of the box and become unique in their own way and find a sound that caters because you might listen to this you might think he's rapping off beat you might think he can't rap and i've always said this as well but if you put it a, a, a close ear you could see that his musical sense is amazing man tuck money is a gift tuck money is a gift and you know he's, he's really addressing some elephants in the room here um about people who are talking about the throne um, in zim hip-hop and things like that and ah uh, man dude i love it man i love it i love it that's our tuck money coming through and number five I mean, better know not to come around here trying to be funny you know better on my highlights i'm trying to highlight yeah. it was him done so sunny Moving on to number four, it is a Takuza TK on the intro. Pray for the money, for the power, for the glory. Yeah. Everything I touch, I want it bigger, want it flurry. Yeah. Do this to my troubles and my worries and no money, not got money. Yo, man, now that's how you do an intro. I, I, I love it. You know, when you're about to listen to a project, the intro tells you a lot. Like, it tells you about what you're about to get what you what you can expect and i love this as well the beat selection is dope the flow is dope like it's short and sweet 
you know it's not too short like it's ga 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 straight to the point i'm speaking i'm talking and i'm out of there and and and, and i love it man i love how he's, he puts he puts his point across i love how he he stems his authority the only corn um that i'll have and this is this don't take this to heart but i really don't i don't think i don't think he talks like this because you want to you want to hear someone rap in how they'll talk to you in a normal conversation i don't want to hear a new voice when you rap unless you're kendrick lamar because he has like 16 voices but here is is things like that it's things like that where i'm like ah man i feel like your enunciation of words here could have come out a little better because like i don't you know i don't think you speak like this you know like it felt like something a voice that was adopted but other than that good i i like it i like it Go sign, I'ma get me all the glory. I've been waking out 11 and just sucking down a story. Yeah. Flipping all them pages, getting read a bad homies. I ain't finna talk down. Moving on to a number three. It is a black fin on uh, summer 16th. They say the blacker the berry, yeah. the sweeter the juice, but then the blacker the rapper. You, you know, know the tighter the, the noose, stay killing while I stay chilling. Pro G beats, medium red, Kobe beef for billionaire. Yo, this is a solid, solid, solid. Uh, return here from black i loved it i love how he it's, it's it's a solid return that's you know he had gone out for a while and bit rusty but still a solid coming through and coming through at our number three he also finished last as well <laughs> i'll i'll explain i'll explain as well but this was this is dope this is dope and i'm glad that he made it return he could have gone way harder maybe ingura you know he rust just just to get but better than that, you know, it was dope. Um, there were some bars that I didn't like. I didn't like how he opened his verse. You know, they say the black and the berry, the sweet and the juice. Uh, I didn't like that. that. That felt way too basic uh, for me, for someone that I expect uh, so much more. But but he does get props for how he is consistent throughout the verse. And a big, 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 big props for him for uh, using, for referencing Grey Poupon. Um, if you're a big hip hop fan, you know that Great Poupon is like hip hop's favorite mustard. So I love that bar where he says, uh, I need some mustard color J's, like some Great Poupon, smooth this butter. You know, I, I, I like that. I like and that. was dope, man. Shout out to an OG. Shout out to an OG, man. That's Black Fin coming through at number three. Be up in my lexicon. Of course, you know, I gotta tell him how I carry on. I need some mustard color J's, like some Great Poupon, smooth this butter. Don't need a second pair. You know, I ain't got time for clutter. In any case, I'm happy. Moving on to our number. Number two, one definitely one of the most hardest working rappers this year. It's Six the Law as well on summer 16th. My verses sound like money in any beat. I find a pocket needed space for my ex. I'm on the rise, just like a rocket on my Elon, but I can't keep no boss. Yo, I like it on uh, this tune. How we started sets off the tone really, really well. Um, I like when someone comes strong um, and, and kind of gives you like the feel because when when this track was announced, it was like summer 16. I was like, okay, there are a couple of lyricists there, but I didn't know what to expect until until I heard like the first opening buzz. Like, oh, okay, this is that lyrical miracle stuff. You know, I like that. I like that. You know what I mean? So uh, he really sets the tone. You know, his voice matches the vibe, very nonchalant flow as well. And Six's ability to pick up a theme and continue it like, through a whole scheme like he starts with the whole uh, mind thing and like you do not pay me no mind but then he goes like i'm loaded with gems you know i don't know if that was an avengers uh, reference like for vision who is a mind stone either way i just thought that was dope um and yeah he keeps it he keeps it he keeps it really really um interesting and i, I don't how he closes the verse like um, that Kunge Kunge clone. I didn't like that. I, I don't know. I just it just felt it felt weird. Uh, it felt weird. But other than that, like Six has been working. Uh, this dude has beat making courses. He has uh, features for days. He produces and he's constantly featured on this show, except maybe two shows since January. That's how you know that he's been working. And shout out to Six the Low uh, as well, man. And he even says best rapper in Zim. I was laughing at my phone. So this is a tough fight, feeling like a second hole. <laughs> I see you. I see you. He's, he's trying to trying to bias. 
<laughs> shout out, shout out to sixty low man coming through at number two. This rapper in Zim, I was laughing at my phone. Says he said top five, feeling like my second home. All jokes aside, y'all can play your Game of Thrones. All I see is a bunch of kunge 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 slow. Moving on to number one, man, you already know who it is, bro. <laughs> I don't even. This is easily verse of the year, man. It's Ray Kaz on Summer 16s. Let's get it. It's money to make. Blow out the candles and I cut up your cake. Show out the sandals while I shut up your grace. Throw out the hammers. You got something to say. Boy, I got ammo. I ain't coming to play. Yo, Ray is different. And I feel like this whole part, we're just going to be deconstructing this verse because. Listen, take note, man. Take note. Like, whoever you put in your top five, if this guy is not in your top five, what are we doing? What are we doing, man? What are we doing? And I have some things that I have to get off my chest here. Because, dude, yo, this this verse, man, this verse is the best verse I've heard all year. And that's when Mary had a little lamb. I'm dying on that heel. My goodness, man. What a spectacular verse. Like, the way he starts off, man, he starts off um, with, uh, you know, with, with the motif, like there's, there's different uh, type of flows, there's ad libs, there's sound effects, the breath control is crazy, man. All right, let's get through, let's get through this verse, man. Let's get through this verse. Like the motif I'm talking about, you know, where he starts, it's money to make, blow out the candles and I cut up your quick shot, the Zanders want to shut up the grates. And he goes on for like uh, the next five bars, kind of setting the tone. So you think, okay, this, is this how we're going? Is this how we're going? Throw out the hammers, you got something to say. Boy, I got ammo, I ain't coming to play. <laughs> Who puts end lips like sound effects to represent a gun, man? I, ah, man, that was that was just dope, man. That was just dope. I love everything uh, about this. Like it's it's complete, it's layered, it is well um, constructed as well. Like you can tell there is there is thought here and which which is what i don't get uh, sometimes when when people are putting raps together i'm like are you trying to to be the best version of yourself when you're putting a verse together and the lyricism on this man it is crazy like the flow is so unpredictable you don't even know what's coming next like it feels like um like a quentin tarantino movie you know, uh, that's that's how great, uh, like a Shonda Rhimes type of TV series. You know, like you don't know. There's so many plot twists when you're listening to this verse. And kitchen, I'm cooking beats like I made a mistake. That's well done. You cooking tweets like I made a mistake. You real dumb. Your eyes covered. You afraid of my face. I love it. Like he goes, okay, hey, buddy. Although I don't handle by the ton of the weight, paying the nicer visits is high stakes if we'd meet. What? It's high stakes if we'd meet, if we'd marijuana, if we, you and I, meet, meet, you know, meet beef. What? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who's writing like this, man? Who's right? This is what I mean, that this dude is a top three lyricist. Top one for me, man. I don't think, I don't think anyone's beating this guy. In fact, I've said it numerous times. I really do think this is the best rapper that we have in the country. And he's crazy, man. Like he goes, um, that's our life. Go crazy. You're paying the price to live it. I got to say in your life dependence. I'm so ill. I spend an hour cipher twice a minute. And this is where it gets great. He says, um, chef cares, mistook my craft for a kitchen. I'm cooking beets like I made a mistake. Cooking beets like I made a steak, like I made a mistake. Uh, that's well done. You cooking tweets like I made a mistake. You're real dumb. Your eyes, auntie, your face covered. You, uh, your eyes covered. Are you afraid of my face? Cause I'm a deuce a snake, nigga. Sit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that bar was so crazy to me that he could have just ended there and not even continued with the rest of the scheme because that's how dope it was. You know, like he says, um, your eyes covered, uh, you afraid of my face, um, cause I'm a deuce a snake nigga. Your eyes are covered cause you're afraid of my face. When you look at Medusa, Med Medusa like from Greek mythology, Versace, you, you turn, you know, you turn stone, you turn into stone, like that's, but then it's also a double and tantal wordplay where he says, cause I'm a deuce a snake nigga, I'm a kill a snake. Nigga, what? Are you kidding me, man? 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? That on its own? Listen, I'm gonna say right now, if J. Cole wrote that, if J. Cole wrote that line, y'all will be quoting him for years. And that's how dope that is, man. Y'all be quoting him for years, man. Like this dude, J. Cole gets a lot with it, gets away with a lot of things, you know. But that's how I know this bar was crazy. It's just star power. He just uh, Ray Kels just doesn't have the star power because anywhere else, if anyone wrote this, you'll be going crazy for the whole summer. You'll be putting it IG captions on emojis and whatever it is, like you'll be tweeting this. Oh yeah, but then he doesn't stop there um, where he says, I'm a deuce a snake nigga. See that stone cold froze like the stunner. I'm Steve, you know, better yet this flow stone cold froze like the summer was leaving. My God, stone cold Steve Austin, summer was leaving. Are you kidding me, man? As I'm trying to raise green like my son was a vegan, my girl got a bad attitude. Like what was the reason? <laughs> Oh my God, man, this dude is crazy, man. Um, and and he knows it. He knows. He knows. He knows that he raps good. Like uh, from from what he says, like his father tells son, you know what I rap. This dog fell from the shoulders of death and landed on your neck, nigga. This chick's asking, is it really from Zim? Nigga's asking, is it really from Zim? Yes, nigga. What? I'm holding my breath. This Bardell, son, you know what I rep. This dog fell from the shoulders of death and landed on your neck, nigga. Bitches ask, is he really from Zim? Niggas asking, is he really from Zim? Yes, nigga, they the best. Don't impress if they press him a press. Triggers can't contest. This a test if you test him a tech. Niggas, if he trust, pass it. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's crazy to me, man. That is absolutely uh, crazy because you will listen to this guy and you're like, is it really from Zip? Exactly, that's how you feel. So you know someone's great. Shoot. Yo, like, this is the guy that we sent to, to Sway. This is the guy we sent to LA Leakers. This is the guy we sent to Funk Flex. Yes, I'm saying that. I'm saying that because that's how much I believe uh, in this skill. And people know, I think people know, man, people know, because he even addresses it as well. Um, he's like, uh, I get remote stairs because uh, I'm controlling my steps. Like people know, man, people like, they look at you funny when they know that you're weird. But the way he even closes this verse, man, like gets into a whole scheme with a dope rhyme scheme. Like they're the best, don't depress if they press on my press triggers. Can't contest this a test if you test on my tech niggas. If there's trespassing, Yes, it's a mess, I'm a stretch, niggas nonetheless. It's respect for respect till my check's bigger. Don't want here, but the hymns and the hers, I'm up next, nigga. How you the realest, uh, and how you the what? Um, how you the loudest one here, but I'm the most deaf, nigga. Yo. <laughs> yo, man, yo, man, bring your top fives, man. Bring your top fives. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it, bro. I don't wanna hear it. But this is how crazy. Uh, that verse was and that's number one going two for two now uh, a rake has come through in the month of August for summer 16s with that being said this has been the home edition as you can tell the home edition of uh, the service of the month in August and you know what these I'm gonna catch you again next month